What's up guys? Today we got a really cool video and it's a video that a lot of you guys have requested. A lot of you have requested after seeing the other Japanese tool brands that I've done on my channel and giving them high praise that I give Coke in a look. Well, today is that day. Also, we're going to be looking at some features that these tools have on them that no other tool on the market has and it's stuff that's going to help you get your jobs done easier and faster. These are really cool, unique functions that only Koken has on their tools, so be sure to check these out. You guys, come on. All right guys, so like I mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Koken tool line, and today I'm going to show you some features and functions that these tools have on them that are super unique to Koken and why I believe they will help you get the jobs done that you've been struggling with. We're gonna do a little demo and we're gonna have some close-up shots to show you some of these features, so just be patient as we go through the line and take a look at them because I guarantee you some of this you didn't know and it's going to be something awesome that you'll learn today. Obviously, we'll start off with the ratchets. As you guys know, I'm a huge ratchet fanatic. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Z series line from Koken. That is their finer tooth ratchets, as you see here. They are a 72 tooth ratchet, but do not let that 72 tooth count fool you as far as how smooth they are. These ratchets are unbelievably smooth. They have a comfort grip. And obviously, this one does have a flex head. I will show some close-up shots what makes this ratchet unique. But first, let's take a look at how it sounds. Obviously, you can't feel how smooth it is, but it is an extremely smooth ratchet. I do like the rubber grip on them. <clears throat> and it is a flex head ratchet. Now there is a ball detent that's inside this ratchet and if you'll notice on the bottom of the head of the actual ratchet itself, it has the ball detent cut out and it actually locks it in place when you move it straight. It's a really nice feature that they've put into these. I know there's a lot of guys that do not like a flex head ratchet and I do understand, trust me, I understand they also offer the straight head ratchets for you guys. Same thing, really nice ratchets. Not much to say other than they feel good, right? Now they have some unique combinations like this one here. As you can see how small the head is, how thin it is. It is a quarter inch body with a 3 8 drive anvil in it and we've all coveted and wished we had these at some point before they were out and Koken has stepped up to the plate and made these available. Super smooth, super tiny, feels great. They have some unique combinations as you can see with this one. You can put an extension in the end, you can put it in the top, you can put it in the bottom. They have your locking points for your extensions to lock in, also on the inside of it. Pretty cool combination, this one's actually the push button lock style. Uh, we call them quick releases. This one is not the Z series, so you can say it's a more finer or coarse tooth um, in this ratchet. But anyway, Koken has a full line of ratchets to pretty much fit anything that you desire or wish or want, they've got it. So enough about the ratchets because everybody's kind of studied the ratchets and how awesome they are. There's tons of videos out there for you to brush up if you're not aware of Coke and ratchets. But I want to show you some of the other products that they have that I think that you will find unique. We'll start out with the extension sets. Coking calls these wobble fix. Everybody else in the industry calls them wobble plus. What makes these unique? Well, let me just show you. Obviously, it has a lot of knurling around it to help you grab it in tight places and spin the bolts loose or tighten them up, get them started, whatever you wanna do. But if you'll notice, it does have a balloon shape that's on the end of it. What that's for, you simply push it in 
all the way down as like a standard extension. Pull it back one click and it allows you to wobble or have a little bit of play, sort of like a universal on your sockets. And that way it can help you get into tight areas and get the jobs done. So they have a full line of extensions. As you see here, I have the six piece set. It comes from a very short one inch all the way up to probably a 10 inch extension. Very nice set, comes in the plastic tray. Um, while I've got the socket in my hand, I do want to discuss some of their sockets. As you see here, this set is an eight to a 19, I believe it was. Yes, they do skip some sizes in some of these. So if you guys are some of those guys that don't, you know, that despise skip sizes, you'll have to look and find the sizes to fit in between or other kits. This one obviously skips some. But one of the things I wanna show you, if you notice, these all have a black line around them. That is not decorative, that is not paint. In fact, that is a spring. I will get a close up and show this. Um, that way you can see the spring that actually wraps around the socket. But inside the socket, there is a small BB. And what that is for, they call it the nut grip technology. And the way this works, we've got a couple of different bolts here. When you put the bolt head in there, that BB pushes out against the spring and it holds it in place. So you don't have to worry about using magnets. That's gonna get dirty and corroded and gross and they're just not going to work properly over time. This will eliminate the magnet issue and be able to hold the bolts or nuts in the socket for you. As you hear, it's an extremely tight fit. The same thing applies on the smaller sizes. And just to give up comparison, I've brought out one of the snap-on sockets because everybody knows snap-on supposedly makes the best sockets. Not my words, those are yours. Snap-on does make high quality tools, there's no doubt about it, but I wanna show you kind of the difference between the two. The Koken eight millimeter, you can shake it out, you have to try. Obviously this bolt does have some wire on it, but it will hold it in there. Snap on, once again, try to hold it in there. Okay, you get the picture, the nut grip will hold in there and this will suffice in most places that you're trying to work it doesn't fall out and you don't have to worry about a magnet now they've kind of applied the exact same technology into their hex grip as well if you notice on the hex grip there is what looks like a metal ring around it and that's exactly what it is it's a spring on the end of the sockets and what that does it grabs and holds the internal portion of the hex fastener that you're working on so you don't drop it. So let me show you an example of this. You see I have a hex bolt. I have the Koken socket and it's in there. You can do anything you want to. That's not coming out. You actually have to physically pull it apart. It's an ingenious design and we've all been there and wish that we had something such as this. And I know there's going to be some of you guys that's going to say, why don't you just buy a magnetizer? Obviously, a magnetizer will work if you're using steel bolts. If you don't have steel bolts such as stainless steel, it's not going to work. So you're going to need something like this. And there you go. Plus, for you guys that have used magnetized stuff before, you know how it always picks up everything. I honestly think you could take a magnetized tip and lay it on a perfectly clean wooden, wooden work table in your shop and it's going to have metal shavings all over it before two minutes into the work jobs. <clears throat> We've all been there and tried that. The Koken, you don't have the issue. Just to show you the difference, once again, we have a snap-on hex bit. Fits the fastener. It'll work straight, but once again, we have the issues. 
like before. So they did a really good job on these. I'm, I'm, I do like that feature. And honestly, you can't really complain about the design. It doesn't get in the way. It's not going to hang anything. It's, in fact, ingenious. So those are the hex bit fasteners that you guys have seen probably, but may not know what that feature is, and the sockets. They also have the spinners. This here is the 3 8 and obviously it's designed to, if you're working in a tight place, you can spin the extension or just place it directly on the socket and be able to turn your stuff in and out easier. I have one more coking product that I want to show you and it's pretty cool. Um, I think you guys will like this one. All right, so this is the 3 8 universal adapter. This one is really cool. It's a pinless design as you can tell by the ball that's inside the socket. Really nice, it's just something a little bit different and obviously a pinless has way more free motion than the conventional pin style that we're familiar with. But anyway guys, that's the video today. Hopefully you learned a little bit of something about some of these coking products that you may have not known. They're pretty cool. They got some great features. The ratchets are amazing. But that is the video today. Hopefully you liked it. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button, it's totally free. Check these out on CokingUSA.com. You guys have a great week and we will catch y'all later. See ya.